Isaiah 54, verse 17. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Somebody open Acts chapter 2. Another person, Matthew 3, 11. God is good. Another time. Are we there? Are we there? Yes, sir. Somebody read to Matthew, 11, uh, Matthew 3, verse 11. First read there. Praise God. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. He that cometh after me is mightier than me. Who should I am not worthy to bear? Who should I am not worthy to lose, to bear? He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. This same man, this same person will baptize you with Holy Ghost and with fire. Amen. With Holy Ghost and fire. And fire. Praise God. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. 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 Hmm. I read. Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon from against you shall prosper. Amen. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Amen. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. Amen. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Amen. Can I hear your amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. chapter 2 from verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, when the days of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one they place. They were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly, and suddenly, there came a sound from heaven. There came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Like of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house. And it filled the whole house. Where they were sitting. Where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them glowing tongues like as of And there appeared unto them glowing tongues as of a fire. And it sat upon each of them. It sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They began to speak with other tongues. And they began to speak with other tongues. And the Spirit gave them utterance. As the Spirit gave them utterance. A topic is tongue of fire. Yeah. The Bible speaks about the Holy Ghost and fire in Matthew 3 verse 11. He never talks anything about fire, about tongue. There was no tongue there. But the Bible said he would baptize him with the Holy Ghost and with fire. But there is something God never exposed. There is something God behold. God called it. I, the most powerful God called. In another world, he said, you shall receive power. I, I chapter 1 verse 8. Yes, sir. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes on you. Yes, Amen. Yes. But there is something. He never said anything about talk. He said, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes on you. Then he kept quiet. And here, in Matthew 3 verse 11, the Bible said, uh, he will baptize you with Holy Ghost and with fire. There is something God could there is something God never revealed. There is something God never allowed us to know. See, we receive the Holy Ghost. Then the thing will make us become unusual, extraordinary. I know in Isaiah 54, verse 17, the Bible says, Any tongue, every tongue that rise judgment against you, thou shalt condemn. Now, how will you condemn a tongue? Listen, I begin to study my Bible. I see something. Men have tongues. Witches and wizards have tongues. Demons have tongues. Marie have tongues. Hell have tongues. Christians have tongues. But nobody knows there is tongue of Christians. Nobody knows Christians.
Christian have tongue. And God called that one for Christians. But that day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came for them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Then fire sat on them. The fire sat on them. The fire didn't come empty. The fire came with something. The fire was wrapped with something. What was that thing? That was tongue. Now, the main man who we are born again was electrified with another language that came from above. That is the tongue of fire. As they begin to speak in tongues, people begin to draw close. What is happening? But I'm not talking about what happened in the days of Pentecost. I am here today with the tongue of fire to condemn every tongue that be speaking against you, that be walking against you. Who holds that evil tongue? 
There are two that black made you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. One sister was the most beautiful in the family. Amen. Amen. The most beautiful in the family and a very decent Christian. Very beautiful, but a decent Christian. Uh, some brothers in that area was like, we want to date you. The sister never permitted that. One gentle guy came to marry this sister because he was seeing the sister in the church. And then when he come to area, the bad guys in area said, do, who did you say you want to marry? She's a pretender. You see her in church like angel. But in the street, all of us have slept with her. And we are in this street now. We live together. We have slept with her. And that one, hey, uh, please, brush. Don't just go there. Because there is nothing in her again. Uh, ask my friend now. That one said, yes, even three days ago, I slept with her. Hey, that's in our church. Forget them. They come to church, they look like angels. But when they leave church, they are dogs. As they were speaking, the sister walked past and they were pointing hands on the sister. Based on the sister, know who they are, that they always try to run after her. She didn't even answer them and she walked back. They said, they said Can't you see them? She didn't even answer us because we are saying the truth. The guy concluded and went back. The, man, the guy went to hook up with another girl. Who up with another girl, trouble came. They were having trouble. What is going on? What is going on? Then they brought her home to pastor. I begin to ask pastor a question. Please sir, I want to marry this girl, but we are caught in, something is happening. There is fight and trouble. Pastor said, that is not the right one. There is a sister you went to the house, but you didn't go ahead with them. What happened? Uh, the brother said, sister, there's no sister. I didn't go to anybody's house. There's nothing like that. The sister said, the pastor said, yes, there is a sister in one church. In your church. In your church. There's a sister in your church. She said, this is, her name is, so, ah, pastor, ah, I better forget that one. In, in short, all the boys in her area have slept with her. The pastor looked up, what a fool. That sister is the most decent girl I've ever seen. There's no one in my church like her. The brother opened her. And he said, can I still shock you? That sister is a virgin. You may as beautiful as that sister. said, yes. He said, did you know why God allowed you and this one to fight all the time? Because she's not the right one. Thank God you never take her to church. They never do you manage. You could have remained with somebody who you are not to marry for your life. The man, Amen. the pastor said, go back. The man, when he went there, the day he got there, he saw another man sitting with the father of the girl. They come for introduction. And the guy sat down and was saying, God, if you really send me here, let the introduction be canceled. Let the introduction be canceled. The guy was waiting for his own family to come because the guy was there while the family is coming from home. The family didn't come. The chatter about seven cars, the seven cars went. Listen, if your prayer is not working because you are not praying, the guy sat down and began to pray. God let it not stand. The family of the guy was coming. Cast boy. None of them came. The father waited and waited, and the father said, Oh boy, you are not responsible. If you are responsible, your family will be here. Since as far as your family is not here, you are not responsible. I will not give my daughter to a man like you who is not responsible. You know, there are so many, they are so bold to talk to you. They don't care who you are. With that anger, the guy left. And the guy left just to go and talk to the parents anyhow. Then this guy that came knelt down before the father of the girl and said, I'm sorry. I am the husband of your daughter. The man was shocked and said, What do you mean? Which of my daughter you are saying you are the husband to? If I may understand very well, I know my illness. I don't know you to be one. He said, Yes, I'm talking about, let me use Bridget for example. I'm talking about Bridget. He said, Bridget. Bridget, Bridget is not money. He said, yes, I am the husband. 
What are you talking about? What did you mean? Bridget, please come. Did you know this man? I was saying, yeah, I know you. You are my church member, right? He said, yes. Yeah, daddy is our church member. Did you have anything to do with it? Daddy, no. I just know him to be a good Christian in our church. That just up. And the man, the guy said, Sam, sit down and let me explain. Why I say I'm the husband? And he began to explain. When he was through, the father sat down. He said, I ought to marry this girl two years ago. But because of so, so, so guys in this street, they told me how they have slept with her. The girl said, I could remember I saw you one day, you were standing with them. He said, yes, I was only looking for your house when they told me who you are. So I left. I didn't bother to ask you, I didn't bother to ask anybody, not even our pastor. So it was another church now that I was dating somebody, the pastor told me that it's not her, his daughter you married, there's somebody in your church that is your wife, you are missing, you should go back. That is why I'm here. The man will die. As the man raised her, raised her, the man said, yes, you are my God. But look at something. Two years was wasted. Because negative men spoke. Negative. Vasti lost her position because Mamuka mm. spoke something. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Yes, Mordecaiah was not promoted because Herman spoke. Yes, sir. All the good Mordecaiah do was close. See, the day they want to kill Mordecaiah. The Bible said the king was troubled and the king could not sleep. He was doing fasting and prayer and said, What shall we do for somebody who rescued the king? They break and he ask Heba. Heba begin to name them. Say, Do it to Mordecai. Why the book was open. What Mordecai did long term was covered because of one man who was oppressing the Jewish. Who is speaking against you? Who is that tongue, deadly tongue, that is speaking against you? And I, the Lord told me this morning, he said, Green, have tongue. I said, What is the meaning? What is the He says, Yes, death. Amen. And he said, The last of all is silent. When a man is silent, it's gone. He said, That is the tongue of God. I'm talking to somebody. Yes, sir. Who owns that tongue that be speaking against you? Wasting your time and season. After this meeting, with this Holy Ghost tongue that carry, Lebo Kandebo Zanama, Liande Bakata, Zerua Baratisi, Legate Ragate Banaka Kayada, Ligate Baka Tusepala, Lana Prote Kuku Salem, Liato Rokopo, Baraka Tusesiato. Sickness. That drug of evil, I condemn. I condemn. 